Right, ladies and gentlemen, a job lot of around, around, I don't know, 15 or so uh, books on the applied arts, decorative arts, um, various conditions, various dates. Some of these books are in the tens and twenties of pounds each. If you look them up on the internet, I just haven't got time to um, send them individually or auction them individually. We've got a book, The Golden Age of American Sculpture, 1930s book of American Sculpture, um, auction catalogue for Omar Ramsden, Arts and Crafts Silver, The Language of Sculpture, that's ex library, one or two of these are ex library, um, The Book of Ivory, a 1938 book about ivory, its history and decoration, the little manual of uh, calligraphy, Herbert Reed, Modern Sculpture, a 1940s book on American book on uh, alphabets and so on, a 1903 book on the sculptor Donatello, fairly sort of lavishly illustrated, a book on East Midlands pillow lace, um, British craftsmanship through the ages, um, Italian popular uh, jewellery uh, of the uh, earlier centuries, there we are, um, a book of church brasses, there are two books on church brasses there, um, a 1960s book, rather nice period illustration, or 50s or 60s book on lithography, with some quite nice sort of period uh, lithographic type uh, uh, illustrations, there we are, uh, and I think that's, oh no, we've got two here of 1940s, 1920s rather, books from, and 30s books from India on, um, that's, um, Actually, that's got in there. That's a Department of Agriculture from India book. Forget that one. But um, here we have a book on the teaching of art in Indian schools, syllabuses for the teaching of art in various schools in India in the 1930s. There we are. It's a mixed batch art-related book, some of which are quite sort of pricey to buy individually. Uh, and I hope uh, you'll bid if you like them. Thanks very much. Bye.